Hey, 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 hello everybody. Hope everybody's doing okay. Monday morning. Woohoo, Monday. Everybody kind of like decompressing from the all the two weeks of conventions and now we're into the well, I don't know if we're into the muck yet. I think after Labor Day, then it's going to really start getting mucky. I mean, Trump is throwing out his stuff. Um, but before we get into that, love and light to all y'all who are, well, love and light out to all. Um, healing prayers to those that need it. I know Pam's brother's getting better, but we're still we're still throwing some prayers out his way. Fiona throwing some prayers out her way. And there's lots more that I don't know about that maybe in your family, maybe you, so just prayers out to those that need it. So now let's get into the Trump thing. Trump claimed that oh COVID isn't that bad. Something like that. CDC says COVID isn't that bad. So let's uh, let's just look at this. Um, the flu kills less than 1% of those who get infected. Okay. Coronavirus kills 3.4% of those infected. <clears throat> and according to the CDC from 1970 since 1970, between 3,000 and 49,000 people have died from the flu each year, largely due to other infections. Complications that can occur, that can occur when you have the flu, such as pneumonia. Okay, so he's been saying, oh, there's other underlying causes, pneumonia, this, that. Yeah, there is, and the flu also took those out too. So, um, so if we had 49,000 people at the high die from the flu each year, and we have now over $182,000 dying from COVID and other related factors such as pneumonia, we have 3.6 times the fatality rate of the flu. Why can't he just say, let's be safe? Let's go on the safe side. Okay. Okay. So here's what I want to read on today. Um, somebody wanted me to, Jennifer, wanted me to read on Tim Scott. He is the black... Congressman, Senator from the Carolinas. I don't know. I'm going to read on him. Um, Prime Minister Abe and somebody wanted to know, uh, Ramona wanted to know if that was going to affect the stock market. So I just want to read on the stock market a little bit. Flash, do not do anything without talking to your financial advisor. Do not relate, rely on me and my guides to tell you how to invest. Except for this thing, and do this. Send me lots of money so I can buy a boat, so I can put a Biden flag on the back of it. Cool. All right. And then I want to read on Trump health. What the, what's going on with that? He was saying, uh, I was reading this thing about the Trump health that some body language expert. Not, they're all over the news now, the body language guys. And he said, well, this is just Trump being comfortable and showing total disregard for the office of the president. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how comfortable he was. Total disregard for the office of the president. True, true, true. Okay, so hang on. Let me put my notes down and... Let's get into this. Okay, so Tim Scott. When he was talking uh, on the Republican convention, I go, oh, I like this guy. 
I think he's, I think he's smart. I think he's um, articulate. And, you know, one of the things that Linda G said last night, and I've said this too, is that there are good Republicans. There are. <laughs> and I know I'm going to catch crap for that. But I think Tim Scott may be one of the good Republicans. Not like Jim Jordan, who is a... My mama said, if I don't have anything good to say, don't say it at all. Then why am I reading tarot? Anyway. Tim Scott. King of Swords. And it's interesting, as I read these, the, you know, I may have like a hit. Is he in legal trouble? Is something going to happen with him? And then as we get onto it, we discover maybe yes, maybe no. King of Swords. Being crossed by <laughs> the King of Pentacles. That's one of my cards for Donald Trump. At the base of this is the Four of Cups. I'm going to drop this down so you all can see. So is, is he being presented with an offer and he's not paying attention to it? Turn blue. Become a Democrat. In the past is the Ace of Swords. So there's... Uh, is he one of those guys that's that's sharp with the truth? Six of Wands. Riding in like a winner. Success. All about some adoration with this. Is that the right word? And the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. So this is... Um, Hmm. This is information that causes him to move, causes some kind of movement. Is it related to this? The Four of Cups being offered something. And then here he is, the Knight of Cups, sitting on the white horse. Knight in shining armor. Let's keep going. Page of Pentacles. He is a younger man. Right? With new ideas. Externally, High Priestess. He's got some shadow information going on. And I wonder if the King of Pentacles is reflecting on that. Maybe the King of Pentacles is telling him externally to, you know, this is how I want you to behave. But he is the knight in shining armor. And he has the truth, and he, if he is the king of swords, going, no, I won't go to the dark side. I'm going to stay in the light. Hopes and fears, knight of wands. So is he afraid of some news that may come out from the past? He's looking... This Knight of Wands, he's looking backwards. This Knight of Cups is looking forwards. And the final outcome, balancing, juggling, a little rough water ahead with justice. What's going on, Tim Scott? There's some stuff that uh, I'll get to the bottom of the deck in a minute. There's some stuff that's coming out with the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords, this shadow information with the High Priestess. He's just juggling some things, and I'm not sensing this is financial stuff, but he's juggling some things on how to deal with the past. 
and justice is going to get him. And this King of Pentacles, I'm getting a sense that that is the cause of all this dark stuff. Dark stuff. This is the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we got the moon. We have the three of pentacles. And then in this deck, it's really dark energy. Win at any cost. However, he's one of those guys that comes together. He's one of those guys that bring people together. Yeah. And he isn't changing. He isn't changing to blue. Okay. So, I think, and I, and again, I don't know much about Tim Scott. I think he's one of the good guys, but he's got some shadow stuff that is going to be coming out. And he may get caught up in some of Trump's, some of Trump's, how can I say this delicately, yuckiness. That was, that was delicate, wasn't it? All right, uh, let me grab my iPad and see where I'm going next. Hang on. Okay, okay, okay. Abe in the stock market. So the Prime Minister of Japan is exiting for health reasons. And is that going to affect, is that going to affect the stock market? And there's two questions. Is that going to affect the stock market or is it going to affect the economy? So let's pull on those two. And things are so fluid with that that it's, it's I don't feel like it's really important to do a whole full-on reading about that. But let's just look. Stock market. Abe. Japan. Abe leaving. Is that going to affect the stock market? heard yes, but to what degree? Yeah, but no. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Three Wands. Um, so it is going to retreat a little bit with this um, news, with the Ace of Wands. Um, and we may see a big thump, and I don't know what that means. Um, but the news shocked a lot of people, that's for sure. Maybe that's what this is. But then you have the Six of Wands coming in as a winner. So, no. It... I mean, I don't see it having a big, steep downturn. But let's look about, let's look, um, is that going to affect the economy? Well, that just popped out, the Queen of Pentacles. Is that going to affect the economy, which is, which is no, but when I, pulled this card, what I'm seeing and, and hearing is make sure you take a look at and look at your finances. Just don't let them go. Pay attention to them. Okay. The economy, the economy, the economy. Justice. Looking at it, Wheel of Fortune. So I think with this Justice card and the balance of it, there there needs to be a rebalance. Is is what I'm hearing. It I don't feel like it's going to be real bad. Um, there is going to need to be some work on the economy. We can't keep our running up our debt like this, like we do. But does Abe affect this? I, I don't really see it as Abe affecting it. 
So stock market economy. Um, things at one time are at the top and then as the wheel spins, they're gonna be at the bottom. So this is a circular card. So nothing's gonna be just, you know, a straight line or anything. It's gonna go up and down. Just pay attention to your finances. But things will be rebalanced. But I don't think it's it's going to be bad. But let's look at the general. Hang on while I lift this up. Think. Okay, so let's just take a general look at the stock market. And again, don't do anything without consulting your advisor. This is for entertainment purpose only. Unless you're going to Vegas, then call me. $10,000 black, 13. Is 13 even black? I don't know. So here we go. Let's not do the stock market. Let's just do the economy. What's going on with the economy? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. All right. Here we go. Whoop. So, um, we got some truth coming. It's going to be some pretty harsh truth that's just going to come out of suddenly. We have Joe Biden on top of it, looking at things, going, okay. The news, the page of wands, this news that is is not going to be great news about the economy. And in the past, as it relates, we're going to see all of the, the shady aspects of the world, all the, the dealings of the Trump administration and Kushner and all those people dealing with foreign countries. Do you see the, the world in that guy's hands? Um, but on the top, it's a celebration. Now, you gotta be, you gotta be careful with this card. This four of wands. Because it, it does it does look like a party, but but it's just a party for these two. What are the what are these guys doing back there? So um, anyway, it's not going to be like nineteen eighty. <laughs> we got the hangman. Okay, so there's some suspension going on. There is review. There's taking another look at the economy from him, from the King of Wands. Okay, I think that's as far as I want to go with that because, you know, everything changes so fast. But, you know, it was okay. It's just going to be under review. Things are going to change when Biden gets in. So, here is... Here is... I mean, we didn't see any tower cards in there, did we? No. So, um, devastation cards. Just some truth. And some news that we may not like. Okay. Will will the let's I don't know how to phrase this. How do we see if there's a whole bunch of shadow voters that we're not aware of? Let's talk about the shadow voters for Trump. Makes me sick with all those flags on the boats. I like boats. How many times have I said that? All right. 
I'm starting to see Biden flags though. That's nice. Today I just saw one independent Biden Harris. Good. Okay. Trump, how many How many shadow voters for Trump? Talk to me about the shadow voters for Trump. Put this down, y'all can see. Shadow voters for Trump. Ten. There's only ten of them. Um, it's a rough road, and those shadow voters are protecting themselves. Yeah, from the Hierophant, it's Five of Pentacles, loss. The Magician is behind him. Six, um, moving on to calmer waters and a celebration. Three of Cups, coming together, enjoying each other's company, which is certainly true. I mean, they do enjoy each other's company. It's a small group, though, isn't it? This Ten of Wands, it's a heavy burden, and he's protecting himself. Covered by the Hierophant, a higher source, the government. This is my Trump card in the past, moving on. Let's just keep going a little bit. Going back to the past in the Six of Cups. Nostalgia time, externally. Ooh, ooh, tower. And hopes and fears, well, they hope that the Republicans can keep it together. That's the hopes and fears. And the final potential outcome is Page Pentacles, a new start with justice. A new financial beginning with justice. And at the base, the Hermit. The Six of Coins, Pentacles, giving and receiving. The Lovers, walking away from sadness. So the shadow voting for, for Trump, I mean, it's there, but it's small. It's a heavy burden but they have their small little group that they get to hang out with. Tower moment, five of pentacles, walking away. Six of swords. So I'm not seeing it as, as big, this underlying Trump support that, you know, that people are talking about that you see in the news, look out. You can't trust those Poles. I like Polish people. I don't know why you say you can't trust the Poles. <clears throat> what about Biden? I mean, he's up in the Poles. Are there other... Are those Poles reflective of his support? Or is it bigger or lesser? than what we think. Bigger or lesser. I will pull this down and y'all can see. Seven of Swords being crossed by ooh, Tower. <laughs> okay, just, you know how I like to go through it all, but I'd like to throw out my two cents to see if it matches. When I pull that card, I go, thief in the night, that's Trump trying to steal, what, the election? Biden's thunder? It's not going to work. Joe with a new plan, a new start. Behind him is justice. At the top is the page of swords with truth. And in the Potential near future is the government. He's leading the government. 
going back to a simpler times. Isn't that funny? We all want to go back to a simpler times. It just depends on what you think simpler times is. Less drama, more mama. Externally, we're going to need to have strength. This shadow, not that I'm a shadow voter. I'm declaring it. Hopes and fears. Huh. So, it's funny. When I pulled on this, I go, he's sitting on the winning ticket. <laughs> I don't know if he is sitting on a winning ticket. I don't know what he's sitting on. But anyway, he's hanging on to, he's hanging on to the pentacles. He's got them all kind of under control except that one. That one can go free, but that one, to me, that is the light coming down on top of them as a winner. We'll keep going with that. Oh, walking away from sorrow. So you could say, oh my gosh, is Joe walking away from sorrow or is that the voters walking away from sorrow from this knucklehead that's trying to wreck our country. Because I really feel that this is not Joe, that this is, this is um, Trump trying to, you know, steal the election. Okay, Coolio, here's the base. New beginnings, new emotional beginnings goes back to here. Queen of Pentacles, Heartbreak, and the Fool. So, starting a new journey. What is up with that Heartbreak card? What is up with that Heartbreak card? Star Hope, Ten of Swords, walking away from sadness, and Harsh Truth, Knight of Swords, taking people down. So what I'm getting with this, and it's, it's, it's because of this tower card, right? It's this heartbreak is all the crap that he's throwing at it. We have the star hope being stabbed into the back, walking away from this, these swords being stabbed in there. So in this deck, it's not so much like you're done. It's not... I've been stabbed in the back and I'm walking away. I'm still okay. And here's some harsh truth coming. And then you have the fool's journey, which means that he is on his way. It's not going to be easy. And I feel we really, really need to... Um, Hang on to our wits, not go crazy, which is a reading for another time. Let's look into Trump. Trump. What's going on with his health? What is going on with, with Trump's health? down, y'all can see. Maybe 
can see. Five of Cups. Lost, crying over spilled milk. Being crossed by Page of Swords. The base is the Hermit. Past, past, past. Past as it relates is the Chariot. Moving on. To me, this is a very, it's a, the lack of strength card because it takes so much strength to move these two horses and they're going in opposite directions. But he, de he does have the reins, um, two of swords up at the top, blind choices, um, emotional, ten of coins, that is um, that is the Republican Party. Five of coins, loss, being left out in the cold. External factors are the hanged man. Taking a, a new look at things or suspension. Hopes and fears, the tower, and the outcome on hump, Trump's health is uh, six of wands. So that's, again, that's a winning card, riding into town, winning, riding on a wave, but this one looks like he's being skewered. Pull one more on it. Queen of Swords reversed. Hmm. So he's ignoring... I think he's ignoring the truth of this tower. Of this Page of Swords. Bringing in truth. He's ignoring it. He's kind of doing it on his own. Alone. Searching for some answers. Injectable bleach. And he is saying that he's coming up with new uh, a new drug for COVID. And he's just being blind, just slashing blindly in the air. Here's the base. King of Wands. News coming really fast, just kind of shocking the world. And that's what he's trying to do with that new drug, right? Um, but then you have the King of Swords. No, let's talk about the truth. <laughs> right? You can have this big noise all you want, but I got the truth coming right behind you. And it's not pretty. Hang on. And let's have a little bit of calmness, can we? Thank you, Joe Biden. So, this is Trump's health. And did I let it go away into um, trying to, you know, his political thing? Let's just look at health, health, health. Mm -mm. Yeah, I still think, I still think it. this is about his health. Trying to, he's ignoring something, nor ignoring the truth. He thinks he's going to win, but the Queen of Swords, the truth is upside down. <laughs> so, that is not the truth. What is the truth? We hope the tower. Or we fear that it's the tower, if you're a Trump fan. We fear that it's the tower. Um, of course, I don't want anybody dying, and I don't see any death cards here. I just see news that's going to be crossed by harsh truth, that's going to make him go, oh, mama, mommy, mommy, mommy. And he's trying to be protected by the storm. And whether that's Biden winning at the end, I don't know. Anyway, 34 minutes. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you, thank you. Maybe I should do a live so I could just keep going or do something so that it's... How do I get lightness up? There we go. Anyway.
uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you. Um, take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. It's going to be a rough and rocky road, but we're going to get through it. Right? And thank you all for the comments. It's awesome. I had a little tear when I was reading the Sunday with Spirit comments. They're just so awesome. Anyway. Peace and love. Bye-bye.